Hello and welcome to Everyday Faith Podcast. For the next 21 days, we will explore what it means to experience faith and God in our everyday lives. Today we'll start with the story of Victoria. Victoria is an apprentice hairdresser. She's 19 and she's been in the job just over a month. It's a busy salon, so there is always something to do. And it's almost always got to be done quickly. She's enjoying it. People are a bit friendly, but she's been feeling the pressure. Three weeks ago, her vicar prayed for her as part of commissioning her for her role. Commissioned to wash people's hair? What difference does being a Christian make to the way you wash someone's hair? I wonder what you might say. If someone asks you what difference does being a Christian make? When asked this question, Victoria didn't miss a beat. I pray for them as I wash their hair. Victoria's praying is an invisible gift to her clients. Soothing conditioner for the soul, not just the hair. Learning the pressure points that relax individual clients. Offering points for prayer for each individual created by God. Still, behind her action lies a whole set of beliefs. Victoria believes that her work in a hairdressing salon is important to God. And why shouldn't she? Isn't God present in all places? She knows that whatever she does, she can do for God. Victoria believes in the power of prayer and in God's freedom to respond in the way that God chooses. She doesn't need to see the results of those prayers, but it's still worth praying. God will be listening to her. I wonder what you make of that story. The reading today is again from the letter to the Colossians, and this time is in chapter 3. Remember that yesterday we learned that Christ holds all things together so we can see God's presence in every circumstances and, and every activities of our day. In chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, we learn this. Whatever you do, work at it with your whole heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ that you are serving. Now I wonder what you understand with the word vocation. Often people feel vocation is to be like a priest, or to have a clear call to be in a certain profession, like nurses. Someone once described that vocation is where our talents meet the needs of the world. So what difference does it make to understand that all that we do, when we do it for the Lord, is worth doing? Whatever your task, put yourself into it, as done for Him. So you don't even need to discern that God is asking you to do a particular job. You just need to put your whole heart into it, as you would do if it was for the Lord. Because you know that from the Lord we will receive then an inheritance as a reward. So in a way to respond to today, how might God use you to bless others today? What prayer or prayers of blessing can you offer as you write your email, look after children, clean dishes, or drive to your working place? So enjoy the day as you discover to hear God's voice afresh and see you tomorrow.